McBride. Welcome to HMS Today, Hopkins in Middle School. I'm your host, Callie Hopkins. Let's start with an HMS poll update. Our recent poll was, what's your favorite emoji? And the winner is the Moai. Yep, not a smiley, not a heart, not a cool face with sunglasses. I've got nothing. So let's move on to a new Minute with the Principal, where Mr. Keller talks with our cafeteria staff. Welcome to Minute with the Principal. Today we're talking cafeteria. I'm joined by Miss Babin and Miss Nuera from the cafeteria. Uh, Miss Babin, you uh, run the school lunches for the whole district. Can you talk to us a little bit about some of the changes that you brought this year? Sure. So our biggest change have been revamping the menus. We've brought in a lot of fresh produce and we've also done a lot of scratch cooking. And our ultimate goal is to create practically everything from scratch, um, trying to alter the menus to your taste. So we love your feedback. So um, that's our main goal right now is to really get you guys what you like. Awesome. And Sandy, I know here um, in the morning that we've added a, uh, a meal. So can you talk a little bit about what students can find at, from 7 to 7.15? Sure. We've started a breakfast program at the middle school in the cafeteria. Um, from 7 to 7.15, we offer muffins, cereal, any kind of breakfast item that you would like. Um, or if you've got your water, you can come down and grab it um, at the cafeteria in the morning. Fabulous. I want to thank you both for the changes that you've made to the cafeteria. They've been really positive and really well received. I know that you're open to feedback, so thank you for thank sharing. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody else hungry now? That segment was recorded during a taping of Mr. Keller's podcast, In the Middle, available on iTunes. Coming up next, it's time for a new Fun Fact Friday. Good morning, and welcome to another edition of Fun Fact Friday. There are many wonderful words in our English language, as you know, yet there are only 10 verbs in general use with these endings that are found behind me, yet many of us have difficulty spelling them. The most common ending is C-E-D-E. -E. And we see that in accede, concede, intercede, precede, recede, and secede. Now, there's only three words in the English language that end in C-E-E-D. And they are exceed, proceed, and succeed. Now, lastly, we have one word that ends in S-E-D-E, -E, and that is supersede. Now, the first person here at HMS that sends to HMSTV at Hillers.org the definition for all 10 of these wonderful words, along with the correct spelling, of course, will win a fabulous prize yet to be determined. That's it for today, folks. Make it a great day. Be kind to one another and succeed in reading a great book this weekend. Thanks, Mr. Rockwood. By the way, next time you see Mr. Rockwood, congratulate him on this. Out of 54 contestants in the state of Massachusetts, he came out number one. So, thank you. It's really because of our students. It's an honor to um, serve them. The VFW Teacher of the Year. Wow, great job. Next up, it's time for our ever-popular question of the day. Today we're asking, what makes Hopkinton special? The marathon! The hills! Students! The students! Yahoo! It's, it's the, the safest, safest town in America! America. The, the teachers. teachers! Me! I'd say Mr. Carney because he's the best teacher in the world. That is the safest place in America. Mr. Brennan. Mrs. Parker. The students. The teachers. Mr. Mangucci. Because I'm in it. The teachers make us special. Take a look. <laughs> Marissa Smith. Libby Hurley. The Boston Marathon. Hopkinton is special because I live here. Answering HMS Today's question of the day. Nicely done. Thanks to all who answered. Okay, let's take a look at... The birthday scroll. Happy birthday. All right, almost done here. This week on Have You Seen This, we got four correct answers. Our randomly selected winners are Alien and Audrey. Thanks for playing, and visit Mrs. McBride for your cool new water bottles. Everyone else, have you seen this? Send us an email. And that's our show today. We'll be back next week with more. But until then, 
Visit us at hms.today where we have a brand new poll, this time with a chance to win a prize. Also, send your thoughts and HYST entries to hmstv at hillers.org. Until next week, stay extraordinary.